All right, so we have very simple JP patch notes this week. It's nothing, nothing big, because it's that week time. But I think it's still uh, worth noting that the celebration for Askenor is done. They pretty much confirm it here with the uh, the update contents. Uh, in the first, the first thing they show is the special site, which if you click on it, I'll, I'll let it translate. Um, it just essentially tells you that this is the last week. I should have opened it earlier. Archer was Elaine. Very sad. <laughs> you trash Parcher. <laughs> it's so bad. But yeah, this was the Parcher, right? So this was the last thing to come from this celebration. And they also have a map here. Um, and everything just says it ends on 23rd. So next week will be a brand new celebration. Valentine costumes end on the 30th, but it doesn't matter. Next week will be a brand new celebration on the 23rd. Or 23rd, so in 24th actually, because it, it says like until like midnight, so it's like a 24th, technically. But yeah, on Thursday, we'll be having a brand new celebration next Thursday, which is still not known, <laughs> but I talked about this in my previous video, so I won't repeat every point. We have, of course, the ticket for Assault Mode Meliodas leaked. So it could be him, or it could be Hawk and Ocelo, because we also have that. Now, if we have Assault Mode Meliodas, to me, that would be the best, because I don't want Assault Mode Meliodas to be a festival character. Or do I? Hmm. If, he's a, if he's a festival, that means that he won't be here for until, like, February or something. Or at least end of January. So I really don't want that. I, I want him now. So it's like, really don't want him to be a festival, because a festival should not release just after one festival goes out. That's not how GP does it. Unless they do it for the first time ever. Which, okay, but I don't. I do not want that. Because that would mean that he would be a 900 cost banner to the guaranteed. I want him to be a New Year's character. And bring back all the exclusive characters, except the... Um, Valentine's one, the ones that just came back with uh, Elaine. Just bring back the other ones. The New Year's, the Halloween's, and I guess the Wedding DM. But the issue with that is Hawk and Oslo. Hawk and Oslo is also an exclusive character of whatever exclusivity he is, honestly. They're, they don't really say. Look, <laughs> they don't even really say what exclusivity he is. So, he just is exclusive? I don't know. <laughs> he, he literally does not, like... Because he released on Global, right? Every single one of these exclusive characters has a set. So, it's Halloween, there's Valentine's, New Year's. The end came on the marriage set, or whatever the name is. Which is a BS set, but okay. And Harkin also just has no set. It's just, he's just exclusive. Like, he's just, so whatever. Um, but if it is him, that would make more sense for them to bring back all these other exclusive characters. But Meliodas, I'd have to come back and like show. But if you remember last uh, New Year's, they also used uh, uh, you know Demon Meliodas in the ticket. I can actually now nah, it would take me a long time to um, to find that Meliodas ticket. Can I find it from here. Uh, no. It, mm, nah, I would not be able to find it like that. Uh, New Year's, maybe? Maybe? No, but New Year's ticket had Meliodas in the- Oh, I can find it from my, uh, my folders. Give me just a sec. I actually can find it from here. This, sorry for the low quality, but this. Meliodas ticket for New Year's. I don't know why. It's so low quality, but okay. <laughs> Uh, but this Meliodas, you know, of course, doesn't look like this one. Assault Malik doesn't look like he's a New Year's character at all. Because if you look at his costumes, do I show it in the video or should I open Twitter? Uh, then his costumes are not New Year's at all, or Christmas, so... Chances are he really is a festival exclusive. I, I really don't want him to be, just because... I kind of want them to release him now. <laughs> In, in like a week or so, especially because 
Uh, if they release like another non hype banner, it'd be very sad because they just released uh, a lane and no one cares about a lane. So. Well, new pack, but it's okay. Only whales care about this, but th this pack is nice for 30 hammers. This pack kind of suck though. So unlucky. Only by once too. So this pack's kind of sucky. It's not that weak. But this is what excites me. Tower of Trials is coming back. My free-to-play account now has a chance of beating Tower of Trials again. Only issue <laughs> is that this is the most difficult Tower of Trials ever. This is the Zaratrus Tower of Trials, which is so freaking difficult. Uh, can I find it here in my video? This it's this one. Right. This is the most difficult time. Look at look how long this video is. <laughs> this is just me trying to beat the last two stages. Uh, okay, yeah. 24, right here, starts here. 24, starts right here, on 16 minutes. And this is me beating 24, and this is me beating 25. This, this tower is the most difficult tower. I hope I can beat it with my free-to-play account. The way I beat it was with Goddess, Liz, and King. I, I can level up guys. So this is the team. Oh. Can I? Okay. Rodrin. Oh no, this was one of the teams that could beat it, but I gave up. What was the team that I actually used? Did not show? It was Goddess Lizard King. That's what matters. It was so freaking shy. I lost me in the back. So difficult, but hopefully I can beat it. Now we have, you know, Green Arthur and the 40% damage reduction food. I might just buy Blue Fraudron from the coin shop to help me. But we'll see, this tower will be very, very difficult for my free to play. But that's about it. I just want to talk about the, the the next thing coming. Part 2, change the background. Sorry. Oh, yeah. So in the in the Japanese version, on the, the part 2, like picture they had red demi Melly, which is not in the banner so honestly this this should have had a compensation because dokkan once had that and they gave 300 stones but it screen crashes quite little so fix an issue all right that's about it well that week but at least we we have Either a chance of next week being Hawk and Oslo or Meliodas. I pray it's Meliodas because I really, really need that. Oh, only four challenge prior can as, uh, four, the characters recognized before the challenge can be. Oh, I thought. Okay, I thought they maybe were nerfing him. Like, I thought in the notes saying, like, they were nerfing the difficulty. I hope they do, because Season 1 was heavily nerfed when it came back. I hope they nerf him as well, so I can beat him more easily with my free-to-play account. Alright, now that's it.